Hello everyone, it's good to see you all here again. I'm Natasha and I hope you all are fine. So in today's video, we're going to continue our chapter number two, Relations and Functions. So uh, as in the last video, we discussed about function and in this video, we're going to discuss about a real valued function and real function. Okay, so like uh, by just hearing their names, like we can guess it a little bit that real valued function, like something talking about, maybe it's, it can be related to real numbers. Yeah, we can guess all these things. So, but whatever, we'll get to completely discuss the topic. We're going to take examples also to understand them clearly. So, let's get started. Okay, so first topic that we're going to discuss about is going to be real valued function. Okay, sounds cool. Yeah, so it is real valued function. Real valued function. As we all know that function is a special kind of relation and so in this one also real value function what does that really mean so um, in real value function if a function um, let's say it in a simple way the most simple way okay so what is actually real value function so real value function is a function whose values of whose values of outcome Outcomes are, are, you know, they're like real numbers. So, uh, and uh, in another way, I could say that the, you know, the functions, the functions whose values, whose uh, range, I could say, whose range is the set of real numbers is called a real valued function. That's it. So, what I'll say is that real valued function is totally related to range and nothing else no domain nothing uh, you know nothing else just only about the range or we can say the values of the outcomes we have the output you know so um in the real value function i'm going to write the small statement you know it's really going to be definition for it so let me write it um yeah mm, okay let's write it with a a function, a function whose whose values whose values of outcome of outcome a function whose values of outcome is real numbers. Is real numbers okay let's have a look oh did I wrote oh I wrote sorry um yeah there it is um I'm gonna write it again a function whose values of outcome of outcome are real numbers is what we call a is what we call a real valued function. That's it, nothing else. So this kind of topic, this isn't an extraordinary type, so it's just simple. So yeah, what was our writing is that a function whose values of outcome are real numbers, real numbers, that's it. I will only write a small statement. Okay, so a function whose values of outcome are real numbers, or I can say a function whose whose um, whose range is whose range is the set of real numbers is called is called a real valued function. That's it. So I've repeated it like uh, twice, like twice, twice. I don't know. Uh, actually, I really don't know. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so let's move on. So let's take a few examples related to real value function. So 
that we can see oops what's this uh yeah uh, i was saying for example okay so i'm gonna take um a simple and easy type of example okay so let's say we have two I can say circles, you know, yeah, this when we based uh, the arrow diagram. So set A and set B, okay? So set A and set B, that's what we have. So in set A, then I'm going to say that uh, I have the elements A, B, C, and D. And in the set B, I have the elements, um, what should I say? Okay, let's say one, two, three, four. That's it. So, um, and they're kind of like making this kind of relation. Okay, so this is like all the mixture. Like I mixed them all. Uh, so the question is that is it is it a real real valued function is it a real valued function so first of all let's have a look at its range because 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 range is the most important thing we, we, uh, you know, in just real value function, we only talk about the range, nothing else. And we know what is range. Range is, is what we'll call the output. And the output that we can see is one, two, three, four. So, um, what I'll say is that um, the range is going to be one, two, three, and four. That's it. And yeah, there's one more thing that I can say, that D is equal to R. What's the D? D for the domain, and R for the range. How are they equal? Oops, uh, not the domain, I'm actually talking about the co-domain, yeah. Oh, the bow shaking. Yeah. So I'm talking about the co-domain, not the domain. Domain is because actually the set A, the whole set A. Okay? So uh, D is equal to R. So let's say it's C, okay? Because the D will be for the domain. So let's say C. C is for, let's say, co-domain. Okay, so C is equal to R, which means that co-domain is equal to range. As we can see that code domain will be also 1, 2, 3, and 4. But that doesn't matter. That's an extra kind of thing. So let's get back to our topic. So, uh, sorry, let's get back to our main, um, yeah, subject, uh, topic that I was saying. I'm going to say topic. Okay, so uh, the range we have seen. And, and we can see that all these are natural numbers. All these are natural numbers. And natural numbers comes in real numbers, which I which I can say that. Uh, so what I will say is, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes, it is a real values function because because the range we're having, uh, the range is actually the set of real numbers. So yes, it is a real valued real valued function okay let's take one more example okay one more this was the first one this is gonna be the second one okay let's again take arrow I'm gonna make it small like this way okay this is set A this is set B and so in set A I would say one, two, three, four, five. Okay? And in set B, I will say that I'm going to have, um, okay, okay. Um, 
I'm gonna change the numbers, okay? I'm gonna change the numbers. I'm gonna make a small pattern for it. This is gonna be one, three, five, seven. That's it. One, three, five, seven, that's it. So you have such a small, ah, uh, yeah. So you have such a small box. Well, it's not a box, it's a circle, I can say. So one, three, five, and seven, and it said to be, let's say that I have, um, Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, okay, so I'm gonna say two, four, six, eight, J. Okay? Cool? Yeah. So, um, and, uh, let's take one more, one more, okay, one more. Let's say ten. No, ten's like, Oops, it's, what was that? Ah, oh, well, let's just not focus on it. Okay, so AJ and I'll say nine, yeah, nine. Okay, so in the relation that I'm having is kind of like this way. Fine. Okay. So, question is: Is it a real valued function? Is it a real valued function? So, what's going to be the answer? So, first of all, let's look at for the range. So, the range we have is two, four, six, and eight j. Okay. So, in this case. So finally, we're having something that is not related to real numbers. It's actually the complex number. We can see that these three, uh, yeah, of course, the, of course, there will be elements. So these three elements are actually uh, real numbers, but eight j is not because it's a complex number, and complex numbers are totally different from real numbers. You know. So what I will say is that. And even if we have a, even if we have a single, a uh, single, uh, uh, and another kind, like if we're having an, another kind of element, another kind of element, which is not a real number, then, then what, what will say that, it, that, uh, that question or that, um, or those, or that relation is not going to be a real value function. Okay, it will not be considered a real value function. So what I'll say is that no, it isn't a real valued function. A real valued function. Okay, that's it. So that's all that uh, we uh, we discussed. Uh, we discussed about real value function, and uh, we uh, you know solved we solved two questions. That I like those were actually like questions, but they were actually you know in reality. Yeah. In reality, they were actually the examples. So um, uh, let's move on to our next. Uh, our uh, next topic. So, what is it? The next topic is going to be a real function. So, we have discussed about real values function, and now let's move on to our, our real function. Okay, I'm going to write it here because, okay, well, like, I have a lot of space here, so why should I waste it? Real function. Okay. So what's the real function? In real function, there is just a little difference from the real values function. So in real function, we talk about both domain and range. But in real values function, we only, uh, we only talk about the range. So like we all, whatever we discussed about was only and only range. One and only range. But in real function, we're gonna discuss about both the domain and the range. Okay, so in real functions, like I've already said that, so 
let's write a, de a small statement. So for the real function, I'm going to say if both domain and range, range, uh, both domain and range uh, are the set of real numbers, then that function is said to be a real function. What is it? If if both domain if both domain and range if both domain and range are are set of real numbers real numbers then then that function is said to be a real function a real function okay so if both domain and range are, are set of real numbers then that then that function is said to be a real function that's it so in the real function we can talk about the domain and range but in real value function only about range nothing else okay so let's take an example so that we can just uh, so that we'll make sure that uh, 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 that like that like these both topics are clear to us okay so let's take a small example for example Okay, let's say we have two small, small circles, set A and set B. In set A, I have the elements 2, 3, 4, and in set B, I have 5, 6, 7, and uh, 1 upon 2, which I can say half which I can say half, okay, 5, 6, 7, and half, which is going to be 1 upon 2, you know, 1 by 2, I, I can say also. So the relations like this way, like um, the 3 to the 7 and 4 to half. Okay, so question same is, it is it a real a real function okay so first of all let's look at its domain then we'll look at uh, its uh, you know range so for the domain we have uh, we can see it's two three and four and if we're gonna look for the range, the range we have is 6, 7, and half, 1 upon 2, okay? So, uh, like, uh, uh, so in the domain we have all the three, the, all the three numbers that we're having, they're all are the real numbers, and in range also, and in range they're same, or uh, like all, all elements, all the numbers that we're having, all are a real function. Well, this is a kind of a fraction, a, a rational number, isn't it? And a rational number uh, includes in real numbers, so it comes in real numbers, so which means that both, both the domain and range are real numbers. Like they comes in the, like I can say that there's a subset of real numbers. Subset of real numbers. So what I'll say that yes, it is a real function. Okay, yes, it is a real function. And that's because just the domain and range, both, both domain and range are the set of real numbers like there's a subset of real numbers that's how we can say that this uh, like these two p 
pairs. Yeah, of course they will be pairs. Like there, uh, I think you haven't forget about the ordered pairs. Like these two sets, I can say for now that this is a function. Yeah. So yet it is a real function. That's it. So we in our today's video, like uh, so, we discussed about two topics: real valued function and real function. And uh, so, you know, that's all for today. And in the next video, we're going to discuss, uh, discuss about the domain and range of a function in more detail. And uh, maybe we'll solve some questions also. I'm not exactly sure that uh, what topic that I'll discuss. So whatever is it going to be, um, that doesn't matter, whatever it's going to be. So, you know, um, thanks for watching and have a great day.